So this class that has come to be known as the tree class has an outdoor tree project in it. Students for 10 to 15 minutes each week for 11 weeks choose a place on campus that has a tree in it and then go to that place and observe. So here, if I may, use one of her reflections. <laughs> Something brought me out of my head and into my life. I could sit there in God's creation and be content with having friends by me without having friends by me or on the phone an arm's length away. I could see God shining a light on the beauty I overlook every day. I am extremely blessed and never alone. Notre Dame football game and Katie said oh I want you to meet my friend Brad I said oh okay um, tell me a little bit about Brad you know over, over the years we got to know Brad he, uh, he visited Houston several times we even went uh, we even went axe throwing with Brad and uh, and Chris I don't know if you taught him this but he has a mean like two-handed delivery uh, I think he he and Katie make a great couple and so we're, we're we're just very happy to have Brad in the family and then Katie, what can you say about Katie? The first thing everybody notices about Katie is her beautiful smile. And, and really, it really lights up the room, just, just like now. And so God creates out of the man, the woman. And I think what this signifies is that he doesn't create woman out of the same dirt that, he, that man was created out of, the same soil, but he creates it out of the very nature of the human. That we all, male and female, share one common humanity. There's a oneness that we share with one another. There's a unity. It is male and female, husband and wife, who are suitable partners for one another. Brad and Katie, you are to be suitable partners for each other, to be attentive to each other, to those fourfold relationships of the garden. One thing about Katie, you know, so she doesn't hold back her feelings. So that's why very soon after we met Brad, we knew he'd be around for a while. After hearing of the SYRs, campus walks, or road trips, it was no longer just Katie. It was an automatic Katie and Brad. Our family quickly became six people for holidays, cruises, and dinner debates, which tend to get pretty heated in our house. <laughs> and somehow throughout it all, he passed the test and managed to stick around with us. <laughs> so I'm happy we can finally make this addition to our family official in God's eyes today. take you, Katie, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I, Katie, take you, Brad, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health.
I started by saying that Brad became a lot nicer. But I was thinking about that, and I don't think that's true. <laughs> the thing is, Brad and I had a lot of disagreements growing up, still, still do. Some, some might be called fights, I don't know. <laughs> but the thing is, he's, he's always been there for me, without fail. And uh, so I know that that's always who, will be, who he will be for Katie. And uh, from what I know of Katie, I know that she'll be the same for him. So I couldn't be happier to stand here tonight and congratulate the two of you. And uh, I wanted to uh, propose a toast to a life of joy, peace, happiness, and hopefully a, uh, a few more travels. So to Brad and Katie Burning.